Assalamualaikum. I am Samira Lucky, Assistant Teacher of Life Preparatory School. Dear students, hope you are fine. Today, I am going to take your elementary science class of class 5. Today, we are going to discuss about chapter 8 and the name of the chapter is Food for Good Health. From the name of this chapter, it is very clear that today we are going to discuss about food, uh, about, about food that means a nutritional food which is necessary for maintaining good health. So let's go. Every student must follow your book while I am delivering my lecture. First topic of this chapter. And the topic is balanced diet. So what is called balanced diet? I, I, I wrote here some points. The first is the definition of balanced diet. The proper amount of food from each food group is called balanced diet. Here is a new, new thing here. That means food group. There are six food groups. They are carbohydrate, vitamin, minerals, protein, calcium, oil and fat. Next topic, balanced diet maintaining proper nutrition in the body. That means for maintaining proper nutrition in our body, we need balanced diet. And then the next point is, children suffering from malnutrition and growth problems if they are not able to get sufficient nutrition. That means for maintaining their growth and malnutrition, uh, children, <coughs> children have to take proper or balanced diet and from there there is an important point is that balanced diet is very uh, man um, very age to uh, age to age person that means who is balanced diet is necessary for children this not, must not be same for an adult person in your book there um, there in chap in page 42 there is a table of balanced diet for age group 6 to 12 years must uh, must follow it from your book from this topic you will be able to answer two short question number one why do we have to eat balanced diet so dear students hope you will be able to answer it and what will be the answer okay we have to eat balanced diet for maintaining proper nutrition in the body. You know, for uh, for answering short question, uh, the answer will be uh, will be specific and short. Then, how can we get balanced diet? So, it is also very easy to answer by taking proper amount of food from each food group. Uh, we can get a balanced diet. Next topic is ways of food preservation. So, food can be um, contaminated with with bacteria, uh, and it may spoil as the fo uh, food. So, for preservation of food, there are some uh, some ways. How can uh, by this uh, by following these ways we can preserve food? And most popular preservation process are sun drying refrigerator airtight pot salt or ice now first one sun drying we can preserve rice wheat pulses etc by using sun drying then fish meat vegetables can be preserved using refrigerator and it is very common and in every house it is it is the most a popular process of food preservation and jam jelly pickles can be preserved in airtight pot and then fish can be preserved using salt or rice besides this we can also use sugar vinegar oil to preserve food after after discussing this topic you will be able to answer short question uh, um, short question the short question is give three ways of food preservation so for um, for answering short question you, you can just uh, you have to just write down three name of uh, preservation process 
So you can choose any three uh, process from the EVA for answering the question. Now go to next topic. Importance of food preservation. So we already learned how can we preserve food and there we learned some uh, some process by using this process we can preserve food. But why food preservation is important now we are going to discuss. I make some points regarding this. First one, it can stop wastes or slow down spoilers of food. Then it helps prevent the growth of bacteria that causes spoilers. Then it makes the seasonal food available throughout the year. Next, it makes easy to transport food to far places. So these are very easy to understand. And uh, so, uh, so the gist is importance for, uh, for importance of food preservations are for um, for stops uh, wastes or slow down spoilers of food for uh, prevent the growth of bacteria for making seasonal food available throughout the year and for um, for making easy to transport. From this point, you will be able to answer the short question what are the benefits of food preservation so it is a short question for answering this uh, you can write uh, you can uh, you can answer um, by the help of last two points that means the benefits of food preservation are seasonal food available throughout the year or uh, and um, make easy to transport food to far places and there is one broad question about this topic also how does food preservation gives us more benefits? So for answering the short uh, broad question, we have to write five points and you can, uh, uh, you can write these four points and another you have to make by yourself. And then food containing artificial color and chemicals. So it is very <clears throat> common nowadays the um, the food um, uh, the food uh, uh, may uh, takes uh, food food uh, food contains different colors which appeal you to take them and these uh, foods are called junk food mainly now today we are going to discuss in this uh, in this topic about uh, junk food and uh, for making the junk junk food they are uh, they are using artificial color and chemicals and what are the negative side of artificial color and chemicals into our body first topic food contains artificial colors may have health problems so um, the food which contains artificial color is not uh, not good for us. Why it is not good? Because this artificial color ca uh, can cause cancer, attention deficit disorder, and hyperactivity. So, what is what is attention deficit? That means you will not be able to concentrate in work and the hyperactivity. That means you, you, you will not be able to uh, control your temper like this. So there, these are very, um, uh, these are, these are, uh, these are not good for us. That's why artificial colors, um, contain food should be avoided. Next. Food contains chemical can cause dysfunction of liver and kidney, and then point is chemical using uh, using in food uh, for, uh, in food is not also good for us because it can um, is, it can damage your liver or kidney. Then junk food, and dear student, I know junk food is very uh, popular to you to take as your tiffin, and most of most of you carry. Um, pizza, potato chips, burger as your tiffin, and do you know that these junk food are not good for uh, good for us at, at all. So your question will be why this junk food is not good for us? Yes, this junk food contains lots of sugar, sugar, salt, or fat. So sugar, salt, or fat, these three things um, um, used in junk food in greater amount, and this. 
um, this can cause uh, uh, cause different types of health problems and most common health problem is obesity and uh, nowadays you you uh, it is very common for the children who uh, uh, children for suffering with obesity so we should avoid this type of food after this uh, after this topic uh, we will be able to answer answer the short question what food contain artificial color so pizza potato chips burger contains artificial color and then broad question using chemicals in food is harmful to our health explain why so chemicals used in um, use in um, using food can dysfunctional liver or kidney that's why we should avoid this so this is a broad question for answering this you have to write other points or uh, you have to explain uh, explanation are necessary here for getting uh, getting six marks so th this this is uh, this will be your homework today that means broad question last broad question uh, of this topic using chemicals is not good uh, in food is harmful to our health explain why so this is uh, this will be your homework and uh, uh, after opening our school i'll check uh, check it uh, check it uh, i'll check your homework so this all about chapter 6 so after uh, after completing this chapter i would like to suggest you please uh, read and uh, read more and more at home and stay safe and uh, if you have any inquiry about uh, any problems regarding my subject you can call me over the you, you can you can uh, contact with me over the phone uh, or over the phone i will i will try my best to make you clear about this okay uh, dear student we are passing very hard time and uh, try to stay at home and uh, um, and staying home uh, is uh, uh, staying home is is uh, is not so easy but if you make some routine and study properly it, it will be enjoyable for passing your time and and especially for a uh, students of class 5 and um, uh, you have to appear your PSC exam that's why you have to